2022 Lamborghini Huracan Estio Review. What's new? New Huracan variant that debuted in late 2021. Lightweight, track-ready rear-wheel drive supercar. Slightly slower than Huracan Evo with all-wheel drive. Part of the first Huracan generation introduced for 2014. Really, this should come as no surprise. After all, the STO stands for Super Trofeo Omulgata, signaling it's based on the car Lambo runs in its Super Trofeo Evo racing series. Considering the Huracan STO is essentially a street-legal race car and factoring in the significant price premium you'll pay for one, you can understand why we think you're better off with the Evo unless you're actually going to take the STO to the track on a regular basis, or you're a collector who just has to own one. If you disagree, be sure to read our expert rating below to learn more about this special member of the Lamborghini Huracan family. To create the Lamborghini Huracan STO, the supercar builder starts with the Huracan Evo, strips it of unnecessary weight, retunes the drivetrain while retaining a rear-wheel drive configuration, and adds numerous performance enhancements. They include revised bodywork, an improved system cooling, functional aerodynamic gittys, Brembo carbon ceramic brake rotors derived from Formula One components, specific suspension tuning, rear wheel steering, and bespoke performance tires. How does the Huracan STO drive? Technically, the rear wheel drive Huracan STO is slower than the all wheel drive Huracan Evo. Still, Activating launch control in the STO lets the Lamborghini grip it and reap it to 60 mph in 3.0 seconds before powering through the quarter mile in 10.9 seconds at 125.9 mph. Credit the Evo-like performance to the STO extensive weight savings, which almost makes up for the lack of all-wheel drive traction. The sound of the V10 is otherworldly but this engine and the seven-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission it's mated to offers the flexibility to be driven effortlessly in everyday situations. And while outright braking performance in our 60 mph panic stop seems less than impressive at 98 feet, most capable sports cars stop in just under 100 feet. It's the durability and fade resistance on a racetrack Blew our minds. We don't know of a better track day braking system sold on a modern road going car, period. You will run out of tires before you run out of brakes. Handling and braking are simply on another level, even compared to the Evo. The STO pulled a scarcely believable 1.19 G on our skid pad, even with relatively skinny 245 section front tires. Steering is light but accurate down to the millimeter and the STO handling balance is friendly to both novice and seasoned pro. How's the interior? Though not completely stripped to bare carbon fiber, the Huracan STO offers less in the way of creature comforts than the standard Huracan. Most noticeable is the lack of carpeting. There is a carbon fiber floor with grip tape for traction and simple pull straps in place of door handles. And then there's the little issue of the roll hoop and the four-point harness belts. The roll cage, as well as the carbon fiber engine cover, do a real number on rearward visibility, obscuring both the rear quarter windows and the entirety of the rear glass. Changing lanes is an act of faith. The four-point harness belts are a nod to real racing belts, but they prove to be more of a hassle than anything else. They are usually in the way when you're trying to sit down, and when they are properly adjusted, passengers will be hard-pressed to even reach the air vents. That said, they hold you into the fixed back carbon fiber seats perfectly. Other seats are available for the STO, which is good because our editors were divided on their comfort and seating position. How comfortable is the Huracan STO? You'd be right to expect the track-focused Huracan STO to be somewhat masochistic in the way it treats its passengers. Yet despite the STO's serious performance envelope, the ride remains nearly as supple as what you get in the impressive Huracan Evo. 
Ride quality is impressive, on par with what you're likely to find in high-performance sedans a remarkable achievement. The climate control worked admirably to keep cabin temperature under control, even if it was a bit on the noisy side. But part of the STO experience is a celebration of noise. The Howling V10 engine is louder, and road noise levels are elevated thanks to the ultra-high performance tires and lack of carpeting. The fixed back carbon fiber seats were the only interior aspect to divide our editors. Some found them firm but plenty comfortable, while others thought they were simply too extreme for a road car. Other seats are available should you prefer more padding and upholstery. How's the storage? What little storage there is in the Hirak and Evo is all but lost in the STO, sacrificed to aerodynamic efficiency and heat management in the name of speed. What that means is where you were once able to hold a few small duffel bags or two bags of expensive groceries, you can now only fit a single helmet. Accessing the STO storage compartment is also a fiddly affair. It requires a special key, the same one used to remove the engine cover and the whole carbon fiber assembly flips forward, requiring a delicate balance and no breeze to stay open. Interior storage is also shockingly sparse. There are no door pockets and just a tray that can hold just a cell phone. And the small storage tray under the touchscreen isn't deep enough to even keep the key in place during aggressive driving. How's the tech? For all the highlights of the current Huracan, the modern and stylish looking infotainment system is merely okay. The 8.4 inch touchscreen is mounted low in the interior and doesn't obstruct forward visibility. But with no physical buttons and no haptic feedback, it takes a solid one to two second glance away from the road to choose the desired function. Even something as simple as volume adjustment requires too much conscious thought. Apple CarPlay users will be satisfied with the integration, but those with Android Auto will need to use Bluetooth to stream their music. Thankfully, there are two quick charging USB ports between the seats. Something else greatly appreciated is the clear, high-definition backup camera image displayed via the instrument cluster. Is the Huracan STO a good value? Value doesn't have quite the same meaning to a buyer in the market for a track-ready exotic car, but the Huracan STO does deliver a fairly singular experience for the money. As equipped, our test car came in around a money is no object for $100,000. That's not quite twice the price of a rear-drive Huracan Evo, but the STO offers purpose-built focus few cars in this rarefied space can match. The Huracan also delivers on daily usability, which for a true exotic car is a rare thing. Warranty concerns are likely not top of mind for prospective buyers, but Lamborghini provides three-year coverage with unlimited miles for powertrain and bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranties, as well as roadside assistance during that period. Customer service is likely beyond what most buyers have ever experienced. How's the fuel economy? It's probably fair to say most Lamborghini buyers will never think twice about fuel economy, but the EPA still does. It gives the Huracan STO a combined rating of 15 MPG, 13 city slash 18 highway, the same as the Huracan Evo. We did achieve 17 MPG over our 100, 15 mile evaluation loop, but dipping into the Huracan's considerable power quickly drops the fuel economy well into single digits. A 21.1 gallon fuel tank helps ensure you aren't stopping every hour. Based on the Huracan Evo, the most well-rounded and civilized Lamborghini sports car ever sold, the STO combines mind-bending track performance with everyday civility, but lurking below the wild bodywork and aggressive aerodynamics is the real gem in the STO performance crown. The braking system, befitting a car designed for track days, the brakes offer hugely impressive fade-free performance, making the STO arguably the ultimate road-going track day hero. Even with all of its serious performance potential, the STO remains easy and communicative for the novice driver. The consistency of its performance allows a driver to gain confidence, and therefore speed, 
in a way most exotic cars just won't allow. And don't even get us started on that V10 Howl, which Huracan Estio does recommend. The Lamborghini Huracan Estio comes one way, but you can customize the car through a long list of paint colors, interior combinations, wheel and brake caliper selections, and auctions, including the exceptionally helpful nose lifting system, a reverse camera and the Lamborghini connected telemetry performance recorder. Pros. Aerodynamic design with a purpose. Astonishing performance. Astounding brakes. Gorilla glue levels of grip. Cons. Massive price premium. Trigger happy throttle response. Horrible rear visibility. Almost zero cargo space.